What's up guys, Mattitude here in the Flats East Bank trying out a new spot that's right. We're out here at the Sora Ghost Kitchen. Now they just hit me up online. They said, Mattitude, you know, we thought that we would interest you in one of our fine new sushi boxes that we've got. Now I'm literally, there, there ain't nothing to see here. I'm literally, I'm out here in the street. It's super hot. I don't know why I chose the hottest day in August to do this, but here we are. I found this nice little patio, so we're gonna park it right out here and we're gonna see what the Sora box has in store for you boy okay now I'm telling you that they really went all out the decor on this thing I mean let's get one more look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful it looks like looks like the sunset over the beautiful Lake Erie but we're not here to talk about the lake we're here to talk about fish so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in on this real quick. I'm gonna give you one more look at the inside of the box now. Quick interior shot. You can tell me what you think about all that. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get too vertical with it. I don't wanna risk losing any of the goods in here, but let me tell you, it's looking pretty freaking good from the jump here. Now we got some, I'm not, I'm not good with these enunciations at all. You're gonna have to cut me some slack here. This really isn't my forte, uh, but we've got the spicy tuna. We've got some Nigeria here. We've got the rolls too, some sea bass. It's, it's basically all your sushi go-tos, right? It doesn't get much better than this. So maybe tell you what, I'll go, I'll, I'll do a quick little B-roll here. I can show you everything that we're talking about. I'll take a video of the box. You can discern for yourself what you think that everything is. If you think that it's up to par to be some quality food that you might enjoy here in the Flats East Bank, but I'm not really gonna beat around the bush. You know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm practically melting out here uh, while I'm thinking about enjoying this sushi. So here we go. Ghost kitchen vibes. I don't know if this food was prepared by ghosts. I don't know if the kitchen is maybe invisible. Maybe it was built by ghosts. Maybe it's some ghost fishies in here. Maybe these are ghost, ghost fish that I'm eating, but here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Toothpick form or uh, chopstick form. Absolutely impeccable. And uh, I'm not really going to beat around the bush anymore. Let's get right into it. Man, these people running, these people running by me right now making me feel terrible. As I just stuff my face. But let me tell you, I think it's short lived. That guilt, moving faster than them right out of here. I mean, holy Toledo. I can't even believe this. I legitimately think that it might have cooled me down a little bit even. I gotta be real with you. It's super authentic. You know, I, I really came into this. I didn't know what to expect, but I tried out the first roll, uh, which was a tuna. I tried out the second one, which was the sea bass. The sea bass is incredible. Um, I have no idea what these things even are. Let me see. These are, uh, these are the, the, I don't even know what these are. Look at these guys. It's like, I, whoa, sh Oh, cut, cut, cut. Let's redo that. All right, I'm gonna try this again now. These things, this takes some expert craftsmanship to pick these guys up. Look at this, you got the crispy bottom. You got the crispy bottom on that guy with a little bit of stuff on top. I tell you what, I've never seen anything like this. I didn't even know that they toasted anything when it came to sushi places, but apparently they do. Sora's switching the game up. Let's see how these go. I see what you did here, Sora. I see what you did. I don't know what's going on with this. Man, got a little bit of a spicy side, though. This guy got a little bit of kick to it. Man, I never experienced something like that. I've never experienced anything like this. When it comes to, when it comes to sushi, man, not only is the quality great for the first couple rolls, including the sea bass, which sea bass in particular, I've had some bad experience with. So usually, for, right off the bat, that one, me and sea bass, we don't really vibe. We don't really vibe. If we vibe more, maybe I would live by the sea. The closest you get me is Lake Erie. And there ain't no sea bass in there, at least none that I'm gonna eat. Well, listen, I've tried just about every single thing here in this store box. I could sit here, I could eat all day. I'm actually, damn, all right. I'm actually starting to run a little bit late. I got a private event I gotta do upstairs. Hence, hence the dope dreads, you know what I mean? Listen, not that Sora wasn't worth dressing up for, 
But as I said, it's just a little warm out here. I gotta get moving. Sora Ghost Kitchen to Go Box. What is it? It doesn't get any much better than the presentation on this guy. The sea bass was good, like I said. The tuna was good. All right. Sora, I've never claimed to be a sushi aficionado, but I do like it quite a bit. I have had places that have had good sushi. I have had places that have had bad sushi. Not to call any people out, but some certain gas stations that shall remain nameless might have some less than quality sushi. Let me tell you, this is way better than your mama's sushi. This is way better than some gas station sushi that you can find. Sora Ghost Kitchen. I'm going to give you guys an 8.5 out of 10. You guys really knocked it out of the park. Listen, I ain't got a whole lot more to say. I could sit here. I could eat this all day. But like I said, a man's got places to be. So, geez. See, I can't even, I can't even keep it together anymore. I can't even pick it up anymore because it's just so delicious that it melts, melts right off the chopsticks. Melts right off the chopsticks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huge fan, Sora, getting an 8.5 out of 10 from this guy, Mad Tood Food Review, Sora, go check it out, definitely got to try it, grab yourself one of these boxes, leave a happy man.